the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 361, Revelation 4-7 Seven seals and visions From creation until now, praise echoes from the throne of God and Jesus sits as the righteous judge. First point John was led by the Holy Spirit to see God seated in heaven. John was led by the Holy Spirit to see heaven. What John saw first was God seated in heaven. Second, John saw the elders surrounding God. Third, John saw the seven spirits of God. Fourth, John saw the four creatures singing God's praises. Fifth, the elders sang praises to God. Second point, John saw Jesus being offered as God's sacrificial lamb on the cross, and then 60 years later, he saw Jesus seated next to God in heaven. John was able to see a vision of God seated in heaven and Jesus seated next to God. John was able to see Jesus shedding blood for humans and then 60 years later, he was able to see Jesus seated in heaven next to God. The next thing John saw was the scroll. An angel asked, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? However, no one in heaven or earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside. Because of this, John lamented loudly. Then a figure came who was able to open it. The figure was the root of David and God's young lamb, Jesus Christ. Third point. The seven visions John saw referred to Jesus' teachings about the final day and the punishment. In Revelation chapters 6 to 16, we come to read about seals, trumpets, and bowls. The Bible has several references to seals. The first is when Pharaoh gave Joseph his signet ring to grant him power. The second is when Darius unknowingly used his seal in order to put Daniel in the lion's den. The third is when the nobles of Persia forced the king to seal the mouth of the den with his signet ring so that Daniel's situation could not be changed. The fourth is when Esther used the seal of Xerxes to save the Jews. The fifth was when Nehemiah made a binding agreement with the people and affixed the seals of the leaders, Levites, and priests. The sixth was when Jesus' tomb was guarded by putting a seal on the stone. After God's judgment, we come to read about the new heavens and the new earth. First point, God's young lamb starts to remove the seals for judgment. Finally, God's young lamb Jesus Christ began removing the seals. John witnessed the opening of the seven seals and discovered that this was like the sign that would appear when Jesus would come at the end of the age mentioned approximately 60 years ago. The first seal was of a white horse that symbolized war. The second seal was of a fiery red horse that symbolized killings between people. The third seal was of a black horse that symbolized earthquakes and droughts. The fourth seal was of a pale horse that symbolized famine and plague. The fifth seal symbolized religious persecution. The sixth seal symbolized judgment by natural disaster. The seventh and final seal symbolized the silence before a storm that predicted the plagues to come, that afterwards was followed by the seven trumpets. Fifth point, 144,000 
is a symbolic number, and those who have been selected by God will become forces no one can come against. God selected 144,000 to place the seals on their heads. However, this number is symbolic, and no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.